Starting this Friday, you can check out the unique designs inside a 4,000 square foot house in Indian Wells. I caught up with one of the designers that's involved in this. Take a look. I'm pleased to welcome former actress turned designer Chris Barrett to the program here to talk about the Desert Oasis Show House that's back this year. Welcome. Thank you. Good to have you. Thank you. Great to be here. So how does it feel knowing that you're going to go back to that show or showcase your designs at the show after two years of the pandemic madness, the lockdown? Well, it's madness, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. It's been great. It's really nice to be able to do some work that's public. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Well, and, and that's what was sort of fascinating when I was doing some research. The fact that you were sort of, uh, tell us a little bit also about where your design is going to be featured. There's something special about Desert Oasis, uh, the estates and the fact that you helped design some of that as well, right? Oh, well, it's at, in El Dorado. And uh, I'm doing all the exterior spaces along with the landscape architect, John Feldman. And then I'm also doing the primary suite, the bedroom, bathroom, and kitchenette. And it has been really different. It's not your typical design house. Mm -hmm. So what is different about this design house compared to some of the other work you've done? Well, first of all, the um, inspiration for it uh, comes from the uh, owner of the house who collects Polynesian art. Mm -hmm. So it's a Polynesian mid-century, which I have never it's done beautiful. before. <laughs> I was gonna, that's, that's a different blend. I've never seen yeah. anything like that. Yeah, it's, um, it's fun. It's really fun. It's colorful. It's not your typical Palm Springs look. So you're kind of uh, combining two very different sort of opposites, I guess, and yeah. making it work. Um, how do you do that? I mean, has your work changed along the years, and now you find yourself sort of mixing different themes, designs? No, it's it's not. I just sort of adapt the, you know, what I do as work mm -hmm. to whatever the concept is. So, okay. You know, if I do an Art Deco place, it's different than I would do a Polynesian mid-century. Yeah, yeah. It, so, I mean, in the past, too, some of your clients have been celebrities. So what's different about, you know, when you're working with a celebrity and doing what they're asking you to do as opposed to collaborating with someone to do something like this? Collaborating with a lot of different designers is completely different and you don't have a specific client necessarily. So it, it's fun. I really love collaboration. I do collaborate when I work for a specific client as well. You mm -hmm. collaborate with the architect so cool. and the contractor and the clients. Okay. So how can folks uh, come and see your work then? It's coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> April 1st is the grand opening. Okay. Uh, you can There's go to um, designcollaborativeusa.com right. and go to uh, Design Oasis, buy tickets, and you can choose from different days and times that one runs starting April 1st. Ah, I think it's through the 10th. It goes through the 12th. 10th, yes. Is it the 10th or the, the 12th? 10th, yes. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yes, and again, it's out the El Dorado Estates in Indian Wells, and there is going to be a tiki cocktail party, house tours, and more. You're also speaking, I understand. Is that correct? I understand that as yes. well. Okay, yes. <laughs> very good. <laughs> and again, more information is at designcollaborativeusa.com. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me.